And many people actually ask then, uh, should I be using a t-test or should I be using Wilcoxon test? Wilcoxon test is a non-parametric test, and uh, which um, does not require distribution. So it's great. We don't have to worry about distribution. We don't even have to check distribution if you use a non-parametric test. And although I do worry about losing power, do I lose power by using a non-parametric test? Okay. So here I performed a little bit of uh, little simulation analysis, and I wanted to feel how much of loss of power is happening, and by comparing student T test and Wilcoxon test, and then also student T test, but transforming outcome variable. So one strategy to deal with uh, distribution is if you can log transform and then make it to normally, normal distribution, and then you can still use t-test, okay? So here, I'm, uh, actually, i show you all three. And I'm comparing three different uh, tests. Red line is a t-test, and with the log transformation. So data like this, after you log transform, become normally distributed, okay? And then blue line is a Wilcoxon test, which is a distribution-free non-parametric test. And then green line is, ah, sorry, so red, I think I mislabeled it. Green is a log transform t-test, okay? And then red is no log transform. So it's a red is a regular t-test. Okay? And then red is a regular t-test in here. Okay. So let's see that how much loss of power is happening. So when you have a completely normally distributed data, yeah, and using Wilcoxon test is actually not so bad uh, as using a t-test. Okay, all right? But since here, the data are normally distributed. So if you log transform this, and then you make a data skewed. <laughs> so using a t-test with log transformation, and you actually hampering power. Okay. So y-axis is a power. What is a power? Well, power is the ability to detect the difference. So if the drug is effective, and 100 people conduct your study, and then you, you can tell 80, 80% power means 80% of people detect the signal. If the power is 5%, what does it mean? It's only 5% of people detect the signal, even the drug is effective, right? So you do want to increase power. And then let's look at the skewed data. And skewed data, since transformation is useful, so it looks like a t-test with log transformation have more power. Okay? But Wilcoxon test is not, not that bad. <laughs> But let's look at the t-test without the transformation. So you grab this data and then don't look at the distribution, apply student t-test, and then your power is decreased dramatically. Okay. And then last one is a very skewed data. So this data is actually the, the similar to the Augustuston score and looking at the coronary classifications. And Augustuston score has a huge cluster of zero, but then some patients have a, lot, a large value. So when you have a very, very skewed data, and a t-test absolutely have no power. Okay. And so in this case, a Wilcoxon test or t-test with log transformation, actually you gain power. Okay. So uh, comparing a three method, and what do you choose? So as a statistician, and we, uh, based on this, and we choose non-parametric test. Because using a non-parametric test, we don't lose much of power, even when the data are perfectly normally distributed. And then power gain is tremendous, especially when the data are skewed. Yeah. And the log transformation is good, although it doesn't work if the data are already uh, normally distributed, or uh, you need to know whether you should do log, or you should do square transformation, or you should do cubic root, or you should do... There are many types of transformation. So, um, and the too many methods you have, and you might start fishing. So, uh, it's much easier uh, for us. We just grab non-parametric test and then analyze data that way. Okay, and I have two more minutes. Um, 
I mean, these are the slides, and I wanted you to feel what are the variables you are, uh, you are dealing with. But anyway, um, these are right here. These are biomarker. And uh, IL-2, IL-4, IL-10, IL-5, IL-18, TNF-alpha. So most of the marker, biomarker data are skewed. <laughs> right? So as many other um, data in biologies are skewed. So it's rare to see normally distributed data. Okay, so be careful to use a parametric model. 